That is Dixon here, Washington Huskies cornerback, and I'm tapping in with the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Yeah, the mayor of C Town, Ryan Hayes, and his big name guest. Often imitated but never duplicated, I Only Touch Greatness podcast with Ryan Hayes. You're tuning into I Only Touch Greatness podcast, Vancouver's best show with Ryan Hayes. Vancouver's best show with Ryan Hayes. Often imitated but never duplicated, I Only Touch Greatness podcast with Ryan Hayes. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Say hey, sent you. This is a I Only Touch Greatness remix. Scan the code and follow.
Yo, what's going on? Hey, good, good to meet you. I'm Ryan. I'm Thaddeus, man. Nice to meet you. All right. So you're getting comfortable up here in the Northwest? Oh, yeah. Man, it's beautiful up here. Yeah, I got a couple questions for that coming up. Yeah, I had to throw the Huskies gear on, of course. Yeah, for sure. I got mine on, too, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's good. So, uh, born in California, what was childhood like for you growing up? Childhood for me, man, was crazy. I mean, it, it was fun. It was a fun experience, definitely. Um, you feel me? It was a little bit tough, but, like, for the most part, man, it was just it was just fun growing up. You feel me? Growing up with the people you going to school with, that like, you, you feel me? Yeah, it, it, it was fun growing up in Cali, for sure. It was an experience. Okay. And did you play any other sports growing up? Yeah. So, like, I was, like, a five-sport athlete, and I was, like, I've always been the best player at every sport I played. Basketball, football, baseball, golf, chess. So, like, it really didn't matter. Like, you feel me? I, I played a lot of sports growing up, for real, honestly. Okay. And when did you know that you wanted to focus on football and make it maybe your number one priority? Probably, like, in the eighth grade. In the eighth grade, like, my love for the game kind of just – it just jumped up to a whole nother notch. And, like, I just kind of fell out all the other sports. And I'm like, this is really what I want to do in my life. Was there, like, a moment maybe that pushed you? Like, some some people are like, oh, I was, like, 10 years old and I scored my first goal and all of a sudden I was, like, I'm down. Yeah. It was really just the sport I was the best at. Like, yeah. I was just the coldest at football, so I figured I'd just do what I'm, what I'm the best at. Okay. Uh, who influenced you as a young young football player coming up? Is there somebody you tried to mirror your game after? Um, my biggest influence growing up would probably be my older brother, like as far as like developing a love for the game and, and teaching me the game. But who I was watching growing up definitely was Reggie Bush. You know, I, I, I fell in love with Reggie Bush, man. Pete Carroll and them boys had the Coliseum Rocket back in the day for sure. For sure. And that's one of the questions I have is like, I've always dreamed of going to see a game there at the LA Coliseum. And it just looks like such a great place to go. Ever since Dub C did a music video back called In the Streets and he's dancing yeah. around that stadium. Yeah. 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 So ever since then, and then of course with Pete Carroll being from there originally. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, yeah. um, do you have any pregame rituals? My pregame rituals, um, usually pregame, probably like an hour or two before the game, I try to just catch some sun. I, I like meditating in the sun, visualizing myself, making plays before the game, listen to a lot of music. But it's really just I, I want to make sure I get out in the sun before every game and just visualize myself making them big plays. You know you're in the Pacific Northwest, dude. We're not gonna, you're gonna be, you better get used to the rain. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm getting there. It's not, I've only been up here three weeks, but I, I'm getting there. Yeah. And you're, you're managing to settle in and everything? Yeah, I settled in pretty nice. They got me set up real nice up here. I ain't going to lie. They got me set up real nice up here for sure. Okay. And uh, as far as the stats that I found, I could be wrong, but Hawaii, Fresno, Connecticut, Delaware, at Delaware State all made offers to you. Uh, what, made, what made you choose Washington? Um, it was really the relationships I had with the coaches. Uh, I've been locked in with the coaching staff since they were at Fresno State. So, like, we built a relationship over time to where the point where it was like, why not? Why isn't it Washington? That's the far as why is it? Like, you feel me? Like, so I just felt like Washington was the place for me. And I knew they had a need, and I knew I fit the need. So, you feel me? I, I made the move. Okay. And uh... – do you know there's a music producer with the exact same name as you? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, like, I've been Googling myself, like, growing yeah. up. I always used to Google my name. Now, like, you feel me, stuff actually pops up. So it's kind of crazy to me. But, yeah, it, it's a famous producer with my name. Yeah, I didn't know. Perfect. And when you Google your, Google your name, Sue, in this interview, he's going to show up. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. So, yeah, as a, I'm in Vancouver, so I'm, like, two hours north. Of your right. drive yeah, and uh, Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're like right on the border of the Canada, and it's I can go from my house here to uh, I guess it's not CenturyLink anymore, but now it's uh, Lumen Field where the Seahawks play, and I can get there in two hours just driving. So it's that's not that bad. That's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's I believe it's almost like driving to Vegas for from LA. 
Yeah, Vegas is probably like probably just a little bit longer, probably like three hours. But okay. this is a quick turnaround. We you can drive to Vegas and back. Yeah. And you spent two years at Long Beach College. Well, uh, what did those coaches teach you that you can use now that you're the, with my Huskies? Yeah, so yeah, I spent two years at uh, LBCC at Long Beach City. My coaches taught me a lot of stuff. It was mainly like um, I got smarter, like a smarter knowledge of the game, picking up on college schemes, college concepts. Uh, they taught me like why offensive coordinators call the plays that they call at certain times. So like I really feel like I developed like like more mentally at, at Long Beach more than physically. But you know, honestly, it was I, I learned a lot. Yeah. 